The power of the DM allows you to choose what's put in your world and what isn't in your world. But where does the line get drawn when it comes to picking and choosing? The post today is talking exactly about this and it's titled DM is using spells that they have. So let's jump straight in. As the title says, in session zero, there were quite a few spells that the DM outlawed, such as silvery barbs, mage armor. My mage armor? <laughs> what? Okay. Cray undead, forest cage, clone, etc. It felt a little much, but he claimed that they were game breaking and unbalanced. So we decided that it was fine as long as it was consistent. Just to clarify, he said that in this realm, those spells don't even exist. Okay. Now, nearly 15 sessions in, we met a villain and he was able to use silvery barbs and force cage and he used to trap our barbarian and paladin. We got pretty annoyed by this and I addressed it instantly, but the DM said I was overreacting and that he's powerful, so he found a way to do it. I gave up on the argument and play continued. However, it happened again the next session, and this time a different villain that we were beating used plane shift, which was also banned, to escape from us. We all got pretty mad, but again we didn't press it too hard and the session continued. Things like this keep happening, but none of us brought up anything again for the rest of the session. And my main problem with this is not that the spell are banned but that multiple npcs are able to use spells that supposedly do not even exist in this realm so the question is are we just overreacting and should we leave it or should this be addressed more seriously i think i have a pretty strong opinion on this in the sense of if you are saying that these spells do not exist in this realm then nobody should be able to use them nobody should be able to use them. uh i think it's unfair of the dm to say that and then to use them themselves i think it's it's unfair on the characters it's a shitty move by the dm uh i think i don't know if i'd stay in that session if i'm on a cider i think i'd be pretty annoyed it just doesn't it like it doesn't it doesn't set you off on a good foot with your players does it you know what i mean like you're really putting once again as i always say like ttrpg games is all about like a, a group group kind of storytelling in a sense and it's like you're, you're creating this divide already between you and the dm and the players completely trying to one up them by saying you can't use these spells because i think they're overpowered but i can use them because my big bad evil guy found a way <laughs> i come on that's not on one bit and like i can't think i don't know if, if there's a situation where the dm panicked and forgot i don't think you forget it right if you're prepping and you see silvery bars like how does it not proc into your head that like always oh, I banned this for the guys. I can't use this. And, and do you know what the other thing is as well? I'm like, silvery barbs. Like, silvery barbs. I'm kind of on the fence with silvery barbs. It's not the worst, but I, I've come to realize I don't like abilities that change the result of a dice in a way. I kind of like having just like the... the uh, I just like, like going with, with what the dice tell us. As, as Happy always says, the dice tell a better story than we do, which I do agree with. Um, so Sylvie Barbs isn't too bad. Mage Armor, I am really, <laughs> I'm really confused by. <laughs> like, Mage Armor isn't crazy op overpowered, in my opinion. Like, you know, it's if anything, it's like, it's one of the essential things that, uh, as a spellcaster to give you a bit of fucking survival. Yeah. Okay, so th th this this um, the author ended up updating and saying, I just sent a direct message to DM confronting him about the whole business. Oh, and his response was that he didn't want to ruin the vibe in the middle of the session, which is why he was waving it away. So he is telling me now in a private message that he does it because there is no other way for him to win unless he makes NPCs super overpowered, which is which he said he doesn't like doing. So instead he just takes away player capability of course he said that he wants me to shut up about the whole thing relaxing his play because it will ruin the campaign for him otherwise i am officially out of the campaign wow okay that's a bit of a red flag in the uh in an ldm in my opinion the fact that he thinks see the, the, the terminology there right it's something small but the term is how he describes how the dm is describing the situation between the, uh, the evil the evil villain and the players he says that he does it because there is no other way for him to quote unquote win. He is taken like this is a him versus the players sort of situation. When it's not. And not in my opinion. I don't see it like that. I guess that's kind of a personal thing maybe that each to each their own. Everyone will decide how their dynamic works. But for me, it's never really a them versus like me versus them scenario. And so straight away, he's making this decision purely on the fact that he's not winning. Which is so childish. <laughs> which is so childish. And the fact that he's saying... 
NPCs are super overpowered. Like that, that, that leads me to believe either one, you're not balancing your combats correctly. Two, you might be feeding your characters too much, too much uh, maybe magic items or something like that. Why is the resolution to overpowered characters? Like literally, you, <laughs> you dictate what the characters ex get in XP and materials wise. So how are you saying that they're too overpowered? You know what I mean? Is it just that they're like they're does he do, do they mean they're a, like a well oiled team that they work well together? That's fine. You can need to be a little bit more, you be a little bit cuter with how you um, form the combats for them. You know what I mean? Maybe your your the the enemies are getting that bit more intelligent when approaching your, the parties. They know who to target first. You know what I mean? Maybe you're not approaching the combat correctly. Who are you going for first? Would would your character, if they have a high intelligence, would they know to go for spellcasters, healers in the back, who are more squishy than the fucking frontline paladin? <laughs> You know what I mean? I don't know. I think this is a very drastic way about going going about trying to balance your combats because you feel like the NPCs are too strong. That is ridiculous. Um, that you get only certain spells because like I'd be fine with if you were to say that this like certain spells are rare in a sense of the components used to cast them are rare or the verbal the verbal somatic and uh, verbal somatic what's the last one material uh, verbal somatic and material components are, are are unknown in the general population and they are rare to find that is different like that will be oh shit we came across a villain who could cast that spell then it's a case of wonder if we can like if they have a spell book can we learn it from them maybe from them casting the spell we can a chance to learn the spell like that's actually an interesting idea that you don't just have i know the wizard is kind of locked like this and it might not work for some spellcasters because tech of the deities and stuff like that but i think there i think there's a, there's an element there that could be fun in saying like certain spells are only rare individuals have knowledge of how to cast those spells like that could be cool and that's a way of of limiting it in a sense of for your players to get it they have to work hard to get access to that spell so that i wouldn't i wouldn't have too much of a problem with that but it's the fact that you said they do not do do not exist in this realm but now all of a sudden when i feel like it i'm gonna cast out plane shift and fucking <laughs> zip away <laughs> Stop. yeah no i don't like that yeah and i'd be on this i'd be on this pc so i don't, I don't like that at all what what do we have in our old comments <laughs> yeah okay i think this dm is getting slated in these comments <laughs> so this person says that's such a weak way of dming jesus fucking christ like if if you're already pretty if you're already petty enough to take away player options, saying they don't exist, and using them yourself, at least be smart enough to not to say which forbidden spell you're using. Yes, that's true. That's true. Because you don't have to. Say, you don't necessarily have to say what spell, like you know, the uh, BB. Uh, I, I can't pronounce that word right. BBEG, big bad evil guy, BBG, big bad guy. I don't know. What your villain is using, you don't have to fucking. It's not like an anime where you have to name out fucking water breathing seven form. <laughs> because <laughs> then in a sense maybe since these aren't like the players wouldn't re technically technically the players wouldn't recognize what these spells are if they don't exist right it's the it's the actual players not the player characters that are recognizing it so true yeah you could you could have very easily hidden them you know what i mean um uh so your, your dm sounds like a certified dumbass Oh, yeah, everybody's like, also, oh, fucking major armor is bad. <laughs> oh, God. Yes, okay, everyone is everyone is picking up on the exact same stuff. So this next person says, you don't win D&D. It should never be the party versus the DM. Yes, yes, yes. That is so fucking key. That tells you so much about that DM's mentality. He is approaching the game in the incorrect way like if if i throw a if i throw a big villain at my party and they end up winning i'm not like i'm not bummed that i lost after that i want to make sure that i give them a fun um challenging combat and we'll see if who survives and if they get through if they get through with like severely injured but they have that sense of accomplishment that's fucking savage you know what i mean i don't understand this fucking oh i didn't win and one last one i think every player would be annoyed at this if they said spells don't even exist in the setting but then use them they're clearly changing the agreed rules whenever it suits them. which was also that's another thing i meant to mention 
It's important that whatever homebrew rules you set or changes to spells or features that you set, it's important you stay consistent with them because you don't want to, once again, this feels like you're cheating the players. You don't want to come, roll, come into the situation where players are feeling like, you know, everything's rolling, everything's against them. You know what I mean? And I think, I think that this DM just completely did that. It's like the lucky. I don't like the lucky feat. I know it's a it's a key part of of a uh, was it halflings you get I think no it's just a feature you can get I think yeah I know whichever one it is um I I I've even though it's funny, <laughs> a little bit contradictory I ended up going with a, a um, my current character is a wizard uh, chronom chronomagy wizard I think it is uh, I didn't realize it, I should have read a bit more into it so I was like that sounds cool so I always went for it but a lot of the abilities are based around like changing roles and Im impacting roles which is which is it is kind of cool but and i'm a little bit like ah i don't know if i enjoy it as much as i thought it would. so any sort of feats that like alter alter the like the roles like you get a one then you just be like oh no i didn't and roll it back like that sort of stuff i'm not a big fan of now the more that i play a Chron chronomagy uh, wizard like those sort of feats i don't actually ban them but i'm like oh i'd be close to getting rid of certain things like once again once it is consistent that means players don't get it you don't get it simple as or if it, if it changes for you it changes for the players simple well, that's me done ranting <laughs> let me know what you guys think if you have any other uh, kind of thoughts to throw at this um yeah i think this dm is just very in the wrong though simple as <laughs> if you find yourself in this situation i think you have every right to just step up and walk away <laughs> if you can't handle it if you can't handle it man I'll do what you want but <laughs> all right thank you guys so much for watching once again code dopes and dragons at dakotairish.com and you will get a 10% discount off some lovely D&D &D items. All right, that's it. Bye-bye.